Professor Johan Gobeler was the Congress Chairperson of the previous 31th SIL Congress in Cape Town. So the first question, is Budapest an appropriate location for the SIL Congress? I think it was a brilliant idea to have the conference in Budapest which is a beautiful city and fortunately me and my wife could explore your wonderful city for two days prior to the conference so at least we knew something about Budapest something about the Hungarian people and something about the wonderful history of your country. Such a science as limnology often interrupt with investment growth. Is there any proposal to solve this contradiction in the future? Limnology is, I think, one of the um, stepchildren of science. And because limnology is considered or almost treated as a stepchild of science, it doesn't always figure prominently. But in fact, limnologists study one of the most valuable resources of this planet, which is water. And we know that water is the subject which will perhaps cause the next world war. Not gold, not energy, but water. And it's actually here where limnologists become really important and where limnologists must make their contributions. So I am absolutely 100% for having limnology as a subject and for you to come and organize one of the conferences which is a proud tradition of the society is just absolutely wonderful. As you stated, the possession of the clean water may be the causes barely among the nations. Can and how can the limnology help to avoid this situation? Lim limnologists have always been academics. And unfortunately, limnology should actually start playing a more active role in politics. Already in the 1974 first soul meeting that I have ever been to, it was already said, limnologists, you must speak out. Tell the world why you are doing what you're doing. Tell the world what is so important about limnology. So in fact, it's nobody else's fault. The fault is of the limnologists. They should stand up and they should say, dear world, Dear politicians, this is what we study and this is why it's important and you should start listening to what we're doing and you should take the advice that we offer. Since the construction was, of Ashwanda, as a wrong doing the Ashwanda, there are Ashwanda, and now also there is a very huge building of how you tanks. judge. What is the opinion of criminologists of Ken? This being done how in smaller ways and or better ways or, or how this needs. I think the important point to remember is limnology is there to study the water. Engineering is there to study solutions and to organize big projects. Now the ideal situation is for limnologists to be involved in the planning of all major systems in the world right from the beginning to ensure that the biota, the chemistry, the organisms, the fish, everything gets its rightful position. So this is why it's not a question that engineering and construction is more important. It is a question that limnologists should work together with engineers and plan these things right from the beginning. Then there will be no conflict. In view of this, how you appreciate the Balaton project in Hungary? I was fortunate to already some 20 years ago visit Balaton very early on. And I was already impressed then. And visiting Balaton again yesterday really said to me, here is an example of science which actually met 
with politicians, met with engineers, and they have found a solution. They have restored Lake Balaton to the conditions what it was some few years ago when the water was in a good quality. And that is a classic example of scientists working together with engineers, working together with biologists. As academic, Laszlo Shomyodi pointed out today in his lecture on Balaton, there were and still remain some contradictions among the public and politicians, the environmentalists. But the result certified the cooperation of engineers and limnologists. Absolutely, but I think this applies to all science. It's also in environmental sciences, all science. Science and scientists and engineering and development and politicians should start talking together. It's once when politicians, scientists and engineers start talking that we will really find the true solutions for our planet and the problems of the planet. Okay, so thank you very much. It's a great pleasure.